All right, so viral idea number one, the overrated norm short. Some examples of shorts like this that have worked well would be like, don't buy Photoshop, use this instead, Photoshop being the overrated norm. Or don't buy the RTX 470, get this instead. Again, the RTX 470 being the overrated norm in this case. And as you can see, these types of shorts can get a lot of views even if you have a really small channel. Perfect example here, this guy has 1,000 subscribers, yet this short got 152,000 views. Now I came across this idea and all the other ideas on this list through a Reddit study I found online that basically they looked at a bunch of short form content and found formats that were most likely to go viral. And according to that study, the best intro for this type of short would be something like don't buy blank, buy blank instead. So you could do something like don't buy Adobe Premiere, get DaVinci instead, which is an alternate editing software. Or you could be like, don't buy ChatGPT V4, get Gemini instead. Now there is an alternative version of the overrated norm short, and that would be the why I don't use insert commonly used brand or website here. And some examples of this format could look like why I don't use 12 gauge slugs in home defense, or why I don't use Apple original batteries or why I don't use a gaming headset. And again, these types of shorts, for example, look at this one, this guy's got 400,000 views. The short got almost a million views. So you can see that they have a viral quality and can generate a bunch of attention. So if you wanted to use this format instead, you could do something like why I don't use chat GBT. And once you've got the intro scripts down using the formula I just showed you, from there on out, you basically will just explain why it is that you say, in this case, don't use chat GBT, or why it is that you use Gemini instead of chat GBT. And if the thing that you're talking about that you don't use is actually something that a lot of people just assume is the norm. That's why this is the overrated norm short. You might find yourself with hundreds of thousands of views. So cool idea, but we have a lot of ideas to cover today. So what I'm gonna do is rank each idea on a tier list. So you have my take on which ones have the best chance of going viral in 2024. Now to rank these viral short ideas, I'm gonna look at a couple of different factors. So with all that being said, where would our number one short idea, the overrated norm short rank on our tier list? Well, I would actually put this one in A tier. I quite like it. Next, let's look at idea number two, the what I ordered versus what I got short. An example of a short like this would be this one, over 190 million views. And there's quite a few others here that are getting a lot of views compared to how large the channel posting the shorts actually is. Now, according to our study, the best hook to use for this short is literally just saying what I ordered versus what I got. And then after this, for the rest of the duration of your short, you're just gonna visually show what it was that you ordered and what you actually received. But even though we know this idea can go viral, how good is it in comparison to the rest of the ideas on this list? Well, in my opinion, I would actually put it in E tier. Even though it's good, it's only really applicable to certain niches. But if you are one of those niches, definitely something you could try. Short idea number three, the controversial take short. Now this short's gonna start off with a script that looks like this might be controversial but blank and you say controversial thing. Or there's a variation of this where you could be like, this video might get me canceled, but, and then you say controversial statement. So for example, you could say something like, this might be controversial, but I hate Marvel movies. Or this video might get me canceled, but Taylor Swift is overrated. Please don't kill me. <laughs> and then after this intro, the rest of your short is just gonna be you explaining and justifying your position as to why you have that controversial belief or statement. Now this idea is a really interesting one because most of us have controversial opinions that we can share. Contra Controversial opinions tend to trigger a lot of emotions in people and triggering emotion often triggers views. Plus, it's really easy to come up with these video ideas. You literally just list out all the controversial opinions you might have. So I would put this one in S tier. Idea number four, the I tried X short. Now, according to our study, to make this short work, you're gonna wanna start off with something like, I tried blank so you don't have to. So you could do something like, I tried Andrew Tate's make money online course so you don't have to. Or there's an alternative of this short where you say, I tried every blank so you don't have to. So in this case, you're trying a bunch of things and then comparing them. So it could be something like, I tried every fast food restaurant so you don't have to. And then after you've said whatever these hooks, the rest of your short is just gonna be you explaining your experience with, in these examples, Andrew Tate's Make Money course or all the fast food restaurants you tried and which one was the best. Now this one's a really good and easy one to pull off for a couple of reasons. One, you don't have to be an expert in these things you're trying. You just try them and share your experiences even if you're a complete beginner. The only sort of key to pulling this off is that you need to make sure the thing you're trying is actually interesting. If I tell you, I tried Coke Zero, so you don't have to, you're not gonna care because most people have already tried Coke Zero, right? But as long as you can nail that, this short has a lot of potential. And so because of that, I think this short idea belongs in A tier. Next, we're gonna jump down a bit. 
we have short idea number five, the specific thing attainer short. So our study says the best way to start a short like this is by saying something like, stop scrolling if you want insert specific thing. Or there's a couple of variations to this one. You could say, I discovered the secret to whatever the thing is that they want. Or you could say, try this one hack to get the specific thing they want. And two other ones that work with this are, this is why blank or the thing that they want to achieve or get isn't working. And also we have, bet you didn't know how easy it was to get blank. Now let's give some examples of what this would look like. So I could say, stop scrolling if you want to get 100K views on your next YouTube upload. Or I could say something like, I discovered the secret to blowing up a new YouTube channel from zero. And then obviously after you say this line, you would then just explain how it is that someone can actually attain the specific thing that they want to attain. Now this short idea really easy one to create, has a lot of potential. The only problem with it is that a bunch of people have already done these. So the uniqueness factor is kind of down. That's why I would put it in B tier. Short idea number six, we have the my story short. Now this short would start off with something like, here's how I did X achievement in X time frame." Or you could say something like, this is the story of how I insert the achievement or whatever it is you did. So some examples of what this might look like could be, here's how I made 100K in three months. Or it could be like, this is the story of how I reached platinum tier. And you can even add on a time frame to this one as well. So it could be like, how I achieved platinum tier in three weeks. And then after you say these lines, obviously the rest of your short is just you going into the story of how you did what it is that you stated you did. Now, these shorts are really cool. They can build an actual relationship with your audience as well. So you will tend to get more subscribers from these types of shorts. The only problem with them is you actually have to have an interesting story to tell. And most of us have a limiting number of those. So I would chuck this short in C tier. Let's look at idea number seven. We have the before you buy slash try short. Now this one's kind of obvious, but essentially you would just say something like, don't start insert the thing you don't want them to start until you watch this video. Or you could say something like the number one thing you need to know before you buy whatever it is they might be considering buying. So you could be like, don't start coding until you watch this video. Or you could be like the number one thing you need to know before you buy Photoshop. And then obviously for the rest of the video, you would just explain why it is that people shouldn't start coding until they watch this video. Or you could talk about one thing they need to know before they buy Photoshop and what that thing is. Now I like this idea a lot, has a lot of viral potential in my opinion. However, I have seen quite a few of these and just for the originality reason, I would chuck this one in B tier. Really quick, before we move on to the next idea, you've probably noticed most viral shorts have animated captions like this. And I wanna show you how to create them in under two minutes. Go to submagic.co, upload your short, select the positioning and style of the captions you'd like. And then just like that, all the captions and text animations are automatically generated and perfectly synced up. You can change anything around if needed. And then you can even automatically add B-roll and zooms to your short. And when ready, just hit export and your short will be good to go. Now Submagic were kind enough to sponsor this video. So if you use the link in the description and enter code Marcus10, you can get Submagic 10% off and start adding captions to your shorts, just like all the viral ones, which will help you get more views. Anyway, back to the video. Short number eight. It is the authority advice short. So this short starts off something like, Here's something I realized in my, and then you would insert or say something that implies you have authority to speak on whatever topic you're going to speak about. Or you could do something like things I wish I knew before, and then say where it is you're at now, again, implying that you now have authority because you've achieved what it is people want to achieve and you can give them advice on the things that they probably don't know because they're not where you are. And then that gives your advice more weight. Another alternative version of this that I quite like is three questions I get asked about my niche slash business slash whatever it is, questions I get asked about. And then you insert the domain that you have a lot of authority in. So I don't know, it might be game, it might be business, it might be a specific niche, it might be a job title you have. And you say all the time. So let's look at some examples of this. You could be like, here's something I realized in my fifties. And you might say, why is it, does being in my 50s make me an authority in this area? Well, to someone who's say in their 20s or 30s, they might wanna know what it is you realized in your 50s so that they can kind of save time and get a bit of a leg up because you are, from a life experience perspective, an authority. Here's another one, kind of going with the same theme. You could do something like, 
things I wish I knew before I turn 50. Give another example. We could do something like three questions I get asked about tax. Let's say you're an accounting channel all of the time. Now, I really, really like this idea. I've seen it work really well. The only problem with this idea is that you actually have to have some sort of authority to create this idea. If you don't have any authority in any area, then people aren't going to listen to you, right? So for that reason, I would drop it down from an S tier into an A tier, but still a very, very cool idea. All right, idea number nine, we have the, this is your sign short. So our study says that the best intro scripts or formats for this short are, here are three signs that you should, and then insert the thing your audience are probably thinking about trying. Or you could be like, this is your sign that you should, and then insert the thing your audience might be thinking about doing. So it could be something like three signs that you should quit your job. Or it could be like, this is your sign that you should try online dating. So it's a cool idea, very applicable to a lot of people. The only caveat is that you actually have to be able to find something that people are already considering. For example, if I say, this is your sign to eat Brussels sprouts and no one is already contemplating eating Brussels sprouts, it's probably not gonna work out, right? But if you're like, this is your sign to quit your job and a bunch of your audience are like really hating their job and they're thinking about quitting their job, then that might strike a chord with them. And so for that reason, I would put this short in C tier. Next idea. Short number 10. By the way, these numbers here, they all correlate with the numbers on the markers in this tier list. So you can then go back through this video and figure out uh, which ideas I've ranked highest and which ones are lowest. But anyway, short idea number 10, we have the red flags short. This short idea would start with something like red flags to look for in and then insert what it is that people are looking for red flags in. So it could be something like red flags to look for in your next date. Now, obviously the terminology red flags is used a lot in dating, but you can also use this short idea in a number of different verticals. For example, you could be like red flags to look for in your hairdresser. And then you could talk about, if this is your area of expertise, little signs that show that maybe your hairdresser actually isn't as good as you think they are, or maybe they're actually overcharging you more than you think they are. So definitely a cool idea to try, but it is a little bit less general and applicable than some of the other ideas on this list. So because it can't be used in as many niches as would be ideal, I'll probably put it in D tier. All right, short idea number 11, we have the go to thing short. So this short would start off by you saying something like, this is my go-to, and then you can talk about the accessory or drink or food or whatever it is for, and then insert an activity. So you could say something like, this is my go-to pre-workout drink for arm day, right? If you're a gym fitness channel. Or you could be like, this is my go-to mouse for esports competitions. And then obviously after these hooks, you would then just go on to explain why it's your go-to and why you would recommend it to your audience. So it can be a fun idea. The only problem with this idea, well, the major problem with it is you can only have so many go-to things. Like if you create 20 shorts on all of your go-to things in every aspect of life, like eventually you're going to run out of actual go-to things. So I'm going to put this short in ETM. All right, short idea number 12. We have the day in the life short. So the intro to this short is essentially you would just say a day in the life of, and then you would insert an interesting character. So you could say something like day in the life of a homeless person. It's kind of interesting, right? What does the day in the life of a homeless person look like? Or you could do something more classic, which would be like, you know, a day in the life of a medical doctor. And then obviously after this intro, you would just show what a day in your life actually looks like. So cool idea, very story based. Very easy to do if you have an interesting looking day or job or living situation. If you don't have anything at all interesting about your day, like if I was doing something like the day in the life of a subway worker, not that I have anything wrong with subways, my brother works at subway, but like it's probably not as interesting as doing something like a day in the life of a medical doctor or a day in the life of a attorney or something like that, right? So just for that reason, I would put this short in eats here as well. All right, idea number 13, we have the hidden in plain sight short. This short idea is a really interesting one. By starting out, you'll use a formula like you've been using insert common thing wrong this whole time. So you could say something like, you've been using your toothbrush wrong this entire time. Or an alternative version of this would be, this will change the way you use, and then you would insert the thing that it will change the way. This will change the way you use your toothbrush. Or well, there's a couple more alternatives here. You could say like, everything you know about blank is wrong. Everything you know about your toothbrush is wrong. Here's why. Or you could do, you will look at blank 
your toothbrush differently by the end of this video. So what you're essentially doing is you're finding something that people interact with frequently and that they probably think they know how to use, but actually they're probably using it wrong and you're gonna show them how they're using it wrong and blow their minds. So this short idea can get a lot of attention, a lot of virality through people sharing it as well with their friends and be like, oh my God, I had no idea. Do you use a toothbrush like this as well? Because I've been doing it and I've been completely wrong. The only hurdle you have to overcome with this idea is when you say something like, you've been using your toothbrush wrong this entire time. That's a pretty bold statement, right? And so you actually have to be able to back up that claim and show them a new way of using their toothbrush that's really interesting or very counterintuitive for that short to actually resonate with people. So just for that reason, I'd probably put it in A tier, but if you can pull this one off, definitely, definitely worth a shot. All right, next we have idea number 14, the specific avatar call out short. Now in this short idea, what you're gonna do is just start off by saying something like, this video is only for people who are, and then call out a specific thing people might be experiencing. So a really classic idea here would be, this video is only for people who are going through a breakup. And then after you say this, the rest of your content is just you talking directly to those people who are going through a breakup or giving advice to those people who are going through a breakup or sharing your story of what happened when you went through your last breakup, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, I really like all of these ideas, but I particularly like this one because it can work really well when it works. The only problem is it is a little bit reliant on luck because you're kind of, hoping the algorithm pushes the video out to the right people because you're calling out like a specific avatar, like a specific subsection of people. If it doesn't find that right audience right away, this short idea can be a bit more hit and miss. So for that reason, it can go really well, but again, you might, it might take a few tries. So I would put this in B tier. All right, short idea number 15. We have the tips and tricks short. Pretty obvious, but the intros to these shorts will be something like, say, specific number of things about, insert niche, I wish I knew earlier. So it could be something like, five things about Instagram I wish I knew earlier. And there's a bunch of alternatives to this one as well, because this is quite a common idea. This is one that I really like, it's worked well for me, even with long form content, and that is, and you could do something like, seven things that feel illegal to know about Instagram. Or you could also do something like, if if you want, and then insert the thing that they want, if you want more followers on Instagram, then you should be doing these things. Or you'd go on to share the seven things that feel illegal to know about Instagram, or you would go on to share the seven things you wish you knew earlier about Instagram. So very easy short to pull off because I'm sure you can probably think of a couple of things that you wish you knew earlier about certain stuff. Also, you don't have to be a huge authority to make this kind of video because you're not saying like, I'm this big authority figure and I'm gonna preach down on you for the heavens. You're just kind of sharing your experiences. So that's a really good thing because it means these shorts are easy to make and you can make a bunch of them. Problem with that is that this is probably one of the most saturated shorts I see out there that, that still works, but like it's very saturated. So I would chuck it in C tier. And last but not least, short idea 16. We have the specific pain point remover short. And this one starts off something like, this is why you're, and then you'd call out your audience's specific pain point. So for example, you could do something like, this is why you're lazy. Or you could be like, this is why you can't sleep at night. Or this is why you suck at coming up with good short ideas. And then after you say this thing, you would then just go on to share why it is that people suck or are struggling with whatever it is they're struggling with, and then try and help them solve that thing or give them the solution to that thing. So it's similar to some of the other shorts we've mentioned, but it's like putting a different spin on it. You're positioning it differently. And it sort of makes it a bit more unique than say the tips and tricks short. And so for that reason, I would chuck this in B tier. So these are all of our short ideas. These are the rankings. Try some of these out. Let me know how you go. But before you go out and try these things, I can already see a bunch of people in the comments being like, oh, I've tried these ideas and they didn't work for me. You are objectively wrong. <laughs> like at least one of these ideas should work for you because they've been proven to work time and time and time and time again. The problem most of you will have with this is execution, not executing on these ideas properly. And so I would recommend checking out the video on screen. It's gonna share some of my best tips on how to make better short form content so that you can execute on these ideas properly and actually get a bunch of views. So check out that video on screen. I'll see you there.